This is why people hey, let's, kill their, this let's is why just people, move let's just move forward. This is why people kill their little brothers. I'm just saying. Just look. anyway, let's do the introduction again now that we are actually running. This is yeah. Big Hurt. And TJ, we're here boxing in university. <laughs> and um, it's been a while. It's been a little while since we since we've been here. Haven't shot a video in, in a good minute. It's probably like I don't know, a couple months, maybe since last maybe, one. Maybe maybe two. Since since I've done one and then with me and you together, it's been yeah. even probably longer than that. So yeah. but um, but we are back and on the eve of a really big fight, which could have been an even bigger <clears> fight. Uh, UFC 200 coming up tomorrow, this weekend, uh, August 9th. Um, and supposed to be headlined uh, by Jones Cormier, too. Yep. It's supposed to be a huge fight. Um, and Cormier getting ready for the fight. Jones getting ready for the fight. These guys are ready to throw down again. They don't like each other. Completely um, hate each other. Yeah. Um, in every interview <laughs> they talk, yeah. it's very apparent that they don't like each other. Whether or well, not they respect each other, that's, that, that's to be seen. I don't know that. Um, uh, what was it that Cormier said? Um, he said, John, what he said, I can't wait to punch you in the oh, face. Yeah, I can't wait to punch you in the face. <laughs> I love that interview. I love that interview. Um, but unfortunately, that fight is not happening at UFC 200 uh, yeah. because Jones apparently popped positive for some type of um, enhancement drug. They don't know what it is yet. They, don't, they really don't even know that yet, yeah. to be honest with you. So th he popped positive for something. They don't know what it is. Um, so if they don't know what it is, how, I mean, can it really be? Okay, so last I heard legal? is they don't know what it is, but they know it was, it's an enhancement drug. They just don't know what it was. They don't know if it's uh, steroids. They don't know, they don't know what it was. Okay. Um, but they know it's not like cocaine or something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which he's done that too. But anyway. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 So um, so that's that. Um, that's a lot of money potentially that uh, Cormier is going to be out of. Yeah. So he apologized. Uh, Jones apologized. Cormier, he was in his interview. He was crying. And... Um, I don't know. I don't. I, I don't. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know if it's. And it, the investigation is still going on. They're still trying to find out whether um, it really is an enhancement drug that he took, or if it was just something that's part of, you know, his workout stuff that he takes, yeah. and maybe a, you know, it's false positive or something. Like that. They're doing another investigation on it right now. Yeah. But ultimately, uh, I don't know how long that investigation takes. But he's off the ticket. Um, it was a historical ticket, 200. Um, so now replacing him, um, I, it really sucks to just be moving on from just that fast from Jones Cormier too. Cause yeah. That was going to be a good fight. Yeah. <laughs> that was going to be a really good fight. And um, I loved watching the first one. They really, it was amazing how they, how they, they shut each other's main things down. Like yeah. neither one of them was going ham on each other. Yeah. Like, you thought that Jones was going to be throwing elbows and coming from all kinds of angles and all that stuff? No. Cormier shut that down. Cormier, who you think is the wrestler, I mean, he's, he's an Olympic wrestler, he was getting slammed. Yeah. This is like, dude, this is he's like, like this has he ever even been slammed before? Yeah. No. I and he got slammed twice in that fight. He fight twice. And I was just like, wow. By somebody who's not, well, he, he's a wrestler. He's I a mean, wrestler, but it's not, it's not his thing to be picking people up and slamming. Yeah. People, yeah. So, and he did it twice. Twice, back to back. So it was just like, this fight was just monumental on multiple levels. Um, and we really were hoping to get a chance to see some more of that in um, Jones Cormier too, and it just didn't happen. So now, moving on, we've got Anderson Silva is gonna step up um, and take uh, Jones' fight and gonna fight on the 200 ticket. So now they are the main event. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. My, I'm not saying that Silva is like he's just over and done with. I'm not saying that at all. Right. But what I am saying is I don't know if Silva's been training. And to go up against Cormier, who's, who's been training, training for, for, a Jones. for a Jones, who is basically who is basically Anderson Silva because they're the same kind of height and build. Right. But he's the best pound for pound fighter pretty much in the world right now. And Silva's like that guy who broke his leg and who came back 
and got even know yeah multiple came times back by people got, who I don't even know their names. And it's just like I just I just kind of feel like. I kind of feel like Anderson Silva shouldn't be fighting Cormier. I, I kind of feel that way. I mean, if it was Anderson Silva, you know, five years ago. Yeah, if man, it was five that years was ago. Good fight. Oh, good 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 fight. But, yeah. you know, now, now he's gotten older. I don't know if he's really been training. Right. Because he got two days' notice. Yeah. He got two days' notice. I mean, they were, in, they were in Vegas in the hotel when Dana White talked to Cormier. Hey, yeah, this is what happened. Millions of dollars you're not getting now, potentially, yeah. if they hadn't found somebody to replace him. And he's, he's still not going to get the same payout. He's still not going to pay the same payout because it's, it's not Cormier. Nobody's going to pay. They wanted to see Jones Cormier too. Yeah. That's what everybody wanted to see, Jones Cormier too. They didn't want to see Anderson Silva Cormier. Yeah. So, I mean, it might be good, but it's not going to be what everybody was looking forward to. Yeah. It wasn't going to be the, what UFC 200, this monumental ticket, uh, is 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 what it deserves. It deserves yeah. to have Jones Cormier too on that card. So now you've got <clears throat> Jones Silva, you've got Lesnar, and who's he fighting? I can't remember who he's fighting. I can't remember who he's fighting. And I don't and even. You got and then you've got Misha Tate and Nunez. Nunez fighting, uh, and Aldo uh, and Aldo Edgar. And Edgar yeah. So. Um, it might still be a good ticket. It just, it could have been so much more. Yeah. It could have been so much more. So, we're going to see what happens. But, um, I mean, I think that I haven't watched a lot of Silva. I've watched a lot of Silva losing lately. I, yeah. He's just not who he used to be. And going up against a Cormier who is ready. He is yeah. ready. Really ready. Uh, he's really ready. Especially being ready for somebody with the same, with the same height and build. So he's ready to fight a tall fighter. Right. So Cormier is ready for a Silva. Silva ain't ready Silva for Cormier. Ain't ready for Cormier. But I really, I really, I would like to think that some of the old Silva is still left in there, and we're going to see some of that. I just, I just don't see it happening. Yeah, I haven't. I in his last couple of fights, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. I mean, and the it, first one he got not. The first one that he fought. Uh, Weedman when he lost. Fought no. Weedman. He. He got knocked out. Got knocked and the out. second time, second he, broke he broke his leg. His leg. And he came. Just, who did back? he fight after? I don't even know. He, that's he, what I'm saying. He came back. And it's so. just like, then he lost. I think he fought, uh, what was it, Nick or Nate Diaz? Oh. Uh, I believe he lost that fight, too. So it's just like, he's, he's been well, on. He won that one. I think he won that one. He did? Yeah. I think he won that one. But, again, the way he had to fight for that fight, that's the one where... Nate, it was, I think it was Nate. Nate was on the ground, laying on the ground, like taunting him and stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like, and it still, it wasn't even yeah, like he, what we're used to seeing. He didn't win that fight. He, From but he won, it by, he won it by decision. That decision, yeah. yeah. It's just, but he didn't so even just, win it the way we're used to seeing him. See, it wasn't the silver we're yeah, used to. We used to, man, I've seen him damn near knock somebody out with a front kick. With a front kick. Man, a we, front kick is for distance. Yeah. He almost <laughs> knocked somebody out with it. You know it. what I'm saying? Well, I've seen him drop, knock people out with it, just right up through the guard. That, yeah. This is not that silver. Um, I don't think. Uh, two days notice, I don't know. We're going to see. But, again, it still is Silva. He's got the experience. You never know what you're going to get. So I, I really hope that this is an exciting fight and it's not just a letdown for yeah. UFC 200 being the, the monumental ticket that it is. And, uh, and for Cormier. I mean, I really would like to see him get something back for all that work that he put in. Yeah. The last thing I want to do is settle for cold pizza. Right. You know. I don't want to. So, I don't want to be like, oh man, the Vietnamese sandwich, and yeah. then end up with cold, <laughs> and then end up with cold pizza. Yeah, I don't. Right. I don't want that. So next it's time, like next two time days. You just make sure the truck's gonna be there. Yeah. It's nobody's fault but y'all. Sidebar. Anyway, <laughs> but uh, hey, so we got the fight tomorrow. We'll be back. We'll let you guys know. You know, we'll we'll get some highlights from it. And we'll you know, we'll do some more talks. So. I see. mean. Two days notice. I just I hope it's a good fight. I hope it's a good fight. I hope I hope some of Silva is still in there because um, I know that Cormier is going to show up. Yeah, Cormier I mean Diaz got what was it a week or two? When he fought McGregor. McGregor two weeks. Yeah, got two weeks notice. I mean you know his well he choked his ass out, right. but that's two weeks. Right. Two days. Uh, 
I don't know. But it's more about, when you talk about two days, it's more about conditioning. Yeah. It's about... Which takes a lot longer. Yeah, it takes a lot longer. It's about... Well, let me uh, work out for two days straight. Yeah. yeah. No. It's about finding somebody who is going to train with you, who is comparable to the person you're going to be fighting. It's all that stuff. Um, and to and be honest, with two days that. notice, you get like one day of training, and then you kind of have to rest because right. you, you can't rest. You, you can't you, work you can't, out the day before. Yeah, exactly. You can't work out the day before. So really, you only get one day. Right. And you can't do conditioning. Right. It's pretty much, you're just like, you know what? Let me see where I am. I'm just going to spar with somebody yeah. and try to knock off this ring rust right. before I get into a ring with somebody who's going to potentially knock my right. head off. And um, I just hope it's a good fight. I just hope it's not a letdown. Yeah. I hope it's not. And, you know, Anderson Silva is a big part of, you know, my my love for MMA and I would hate to see him just to start to be that guy to just start getting just knocked out by these people who don't who don't mean anything not to say Cormier doesn't mean right. anything right. but I just don't want him to be that guy who turns into the punching bag right I hope not because I really do see him a certain kind of way I think that even Jones and Cormier and all those guys, all those, they look up to him. Yeah. Nobody wants to beat on him, you know what I mean? Yeah. They look up to him for a while. I mean, they, they wanted to be him. They wanted to emulate him. I'm sure some of what the things that Jones does, you know, is like, oh, man, I remember seeing Silva doing this. And they yeah. try and find, take something from Silva and make it their own. I mean, it's just, well, like, it's just yeah, it's like Tyson. It's like I've, I've been looking up to Tyson ever since, you know, I, I can remember his fights. Like, and it's just like I would hate to someday be able to, box Tyson and then he's just this weathered piece right. of leather that right. I'm just punching. Right. So let's just let's just hope it doesn't turn out to be like yeah. turn out to be that. So like I say the fights tomorrow, we'll be back with you guys, do some fight talks and um let's see what happens. Hey this is Big Hurt TJ, we're here at Boxing with University and Big Hurt TV. And uh, you know see what's up. You know give us a like, give us a subscribe, keep it coming. Keep them coming. Keep so I haven't had the opportunity to talk to him. And, you know, I just want to tell them I'm sorry. That's really it. I know this fight meant a lot to him.